Hey guys, what's happening? This is Beta Ready. In this video, I want to take you through the RC motor mount that I've designed and how to actually adjust the settings in Thingiverse Customizer so that you can get something that works for you. To start with, we open the customizer. First thing I'd suggest you do is turn the wall resolution down. It's going to make your renders a lot quicker and it's going to make it a lot easier working with the file in general. Next setting you've got is the wall thickness, which is basically just going to control how thick the outer walls actually are on this one. The YZ value controls the size of that back plate that the motor will actually mount to. The X value yields more length, and this is a section that allows us to mount to the aircraft. Prop shaft diameter controls the hole for the shaft that comes through from the back of the motor. I start here by turning down the screw slide length so that you can see the effect that the screw separation variable actually has on it. I want to accommodate 3mm screws, but with the shrink that I get with the ABS I print with, I find 4mm gives me a nice flush fit without being too tight. What it suggests is that you measure the back of your motor and have a look at the separation on the screws. Just make sure that you measure the distance between both of them because some motors actually aren't universal distance between the two different pairs. The default setting for the prop mount rotation is for easier printing. Settings on the bottom pretty much follow the same naming convention as on the back plate for the motor. The restrained screw diameter works in much the same way. I'll be, I'll be working with three millimeter um, screws here. I'm pushing it up to four to account for the shrink. The retained screw slide again affects the length of the actual slide there. And the X separation pushes it forward and backwards along the longitudinal axis. Y separation pushes it out on that short width axis. What I do there is just keep enough space just to make sure that the screw head won't actually catch the side of the firewall. The only setting that I didn't actually show you there was the retained screws rotation, which is something I experimented with, which basically twisted it so that you had a horizontal slide. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions you can leave them in any of the comments sections either on Thingiverse or on this YouTube video page. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing any future builds or breakdowns of designs that I've already done. Thanks for watching.